We'll continue the linked list. So then we have completed how to create a linked list. So today onwards, we, we have to see how to do any kind of operation on linked list. We know how to store data in a linked list now. How to retrieve it also we have seen, traversal. Other than that, there will be different operations like insert and in an already existing linked list, how to insert a new node at any position. Okay. So in insert or any operation, we have to assume that the linked list is already existing. <coughs> And the head pointer is given to us. In any kind of operation, single linked list means they will always give you head pointer and ask to insert this at so and so position. Delete so and so node. This kind of operations. So we have to assume there is a head pointer that is given to us. Means we know the address of the first node. And the first node knows the second node address. Second node knows the third node address. Last node will always point to the next node as null. This is single linked list. Okay. So if you know one node address, base node address, we, we can get the other nodes addresses easily. So in linked list, traversal is like you will always start with the head node and you will get the next node address from the head node. Go to the next node again, get the next node address from the second node. Like that, you will traverse by retrieving address from before node. First retrieve the address, go to the next node. Again retrieve the address, go to the next node. That is called traversal. In and the traversal is required for any other kind of operation in linked list. Okay. After creation of the linked list, for any other operation, we need to do traversal. Right? And the traversal will be done till last node. Last node condition is always next pointer is null. So let us see how to insert a new node into an existing linked list. So in yesterday's creation part, we have already seen how to insert something at the end. Right? But that is, we are assuming that we always have last node point already in hand. And then we are inserting a new node at the last position. But today for insert, we will assume only we have head node. Only head node is given. Then we can insert at before head or somewhere in the middle or after the tail. At any position, we, we should be able to insert a new node. Okay. So, insert requires three steps. So, first is create a new node. If you want to insert something, you need to create a new node first. Then, second node find before node and this is done based on the question before node only you have to find out for insert you need to find out the before node unless it is head insertion okay if it is head insertion you know that you have to be inserting at the first position but other than that you have to always find the before node. Before node means what? Where we have to put our new node. Before that, what node will come? Means after which node we have to insert our new node. Okay. So that node we have to find out. Till that node we have to traverse in the linked list. Okay. So after finding the address of that node, then we can change the links. to insert the new node. Before node always won't be there. If you are inserting at head position, head position won't have any before node. But if I want to insert here, between 2 and 3 if I have to insert, before node of 5 will be 2. After insertion, what will be before 5? Two. That node we have to find out. Means we have to traverse from head to two. Then only we can insert five after two. 
Okay. So how to insert? We have to change this linkage. So first step is create file. Second step is find out to. Third step is change these links so that file will be between two and three. Those are the three steps needed to insert anything. Okay. That is between. If you want to insert something between anywhere in the linked list, first node insertion you have to treat separately. Last node insertion same steps you can follow. Because la for last node insertion there is a before node. Last node itself is the before node. You have to insert something here. What is the before node? Already existing linked list last node is your before node because this is how you have to insert. You have to change the links. So for last node insertion also same steps will work. For first node insertion, the treatment will be little different. Okay. So in these steps, this file node and before node is not always the same logic because we can start traversal from head. We need to know where to stop. Some condition should be there. Traversal. We don't always stop at the last node because we don't know where to stop. If I have to insert here, then I have to stop at two only. If I have to insert here, then I have to stop at three only. Okay. So the question, depending on the question, we need to decide where to stop. The questions may be different ways. The question may be given as at a given position, insert a new node. Like insert a new node at the second position or third position. Based on position, the question insertion may be asked. Okay, or there may be question that insert before three, insert before so and so data. Okay, insert such that it comes before three, or insert in a sorted order. That kind of question, or after. These are the three common questions I am giving, but there can be different questions. You need to always identify where to stop, depending on the question. Okay, so before a particular node or after a particular node, after two or after three, the question may be like insert after three or insert after four, or question may be before four or insert at the position four or at the position five. Position is different. Node value is different. Node value is what is the data that you have stored? ID number or name. Okay. Before a particular data, you you may be asked to insert, or at a position you may be asked to insert. Suppose the data is 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Insert after 20 or insert before 30, or insert at the third position. All three are same. Insert at third position means earlier. At third position, 30 is there. Now, at third position, I have to insert means 30 will go to fourth position. My new node will come to third position. One, two, three. Third node is now 50. And 30 was earlier third position. Now it is in fourth position. That is based on position insertion. Before means if they say insert before 30, that is also same. Insert after 20 is also same. But in all these three different ways of asking the question, you have to identify how to find the before node based on your logical thinking. Okay. After that, creating the new node process, we know yesterday we have seen. Create a new node function we have already written in creating the list. Right. Changing the links to insert the new node. Once you know the before node, changing the links to insert a new node process is always same only two steps okay so create a new node yesterday i wrote the function already right create node you have to allocate memory equivalent to your node what is the node we are using here student is the node you will have a student pointer you may have some data inserted into these nodes, data members, 
but always you have to do one step next member you have to keep null this is a mandatory step create the new node make the next member null remaining part you can do anywhere anyhow you can do okay but these two are the mandatory steps you have to do so that you don't run into wild pointers you have to create do it here only it will be better rather than doing some no, somewhere else it is always better create the node and then put none okay then return n this is creating a new node process whenever you have to create a new node just call this function this is new node created this step is done second one by position हेलो वाटर बोतने इंसर्ट एट एंड पोजीशन सपोज एम वैल्यू इज 3 यू आर सपोज टू इंसर्ट एट द थर्ड पोजीशन दिस इज द न्यू नोड दैट इज क्रिएटेड एंड आई एम सपोज टू इंसर्ट एट थर्ड पोजीशन सो दैट द थर्ड नोड विल गो टू द फोर्थ पोजीशन ओके सो फॉर दैट आई नीड टू स्टॉप एट Second mode, second position only. I have to stop because I have to find out the before mode. Third mode, before mode is second mode, right? So you have to stop traversal at n minus one position mode. So you have to start the traversal from head node. So take a temporary pointer. Okay, this is position number is given as integer, and I need one more counter to start counting. Okay, and I am going to start from the head node. So head node position is already one. So I will use one. I am going to start from the position one. The counting I am going to start from head head position, and then. Head node. I need a temporary pointer. For traversal, you will always need a temporary pointer. Any kind of traversal, insertions, deletions, reversal, everywhere you need a pointer first. Okay. So one pointer, the student pointer, will start its traversal from the head pointer. Head pointer data it will take. Head pointer address it is going to take, and from that point onwards it is going to start the traversal. Yes. Yesterday's traversal function we have already seen. No? same but the condition will change here what was yesterday's condition while t is not null print the data here we are not going to print it it is only just to finding the second node address that's it so no need to print but we need to keep on moving moving to the next node okay so for for this you need the condition differently because we have to stop at n minus 1th position only okay now i value whenever it is less than n minus 1 keep moving once it reaches n minus 1 stop so increment i that is the condition now okay if i have to stop at third position n is i value is already 1 One less than two. I have to stop at two. Right? The loop will stop when i is equal to n minus one. That is where I have to stop now. Right? So t is going to start head pointer. I value is one. Then t is equal to t next, and then i value is two. I is incremented. Then two less than n minus one is already two. Two less than two is false. 
sorry uh, equal to i should not go beyond no so then i value i have to start with zero only something is oh, okay so i value zero zero less than two n value is two zero less than two t i have to move next Ashna, wait. I have to stop here only. One less than two is true. So t will move next. Then I will increment to two. Then two less than two is false. Stop. That's it. So t will stop at the second position. Suppose n value is three. N value is four. Fourth node. This at this position I have to insert means. This will be inside at after thirty. Then I value is one. T is head. N value is four. Then I have to stop at I value three only. Okay. So I value one. T is starting from head node. T is equal to T next, and I value is two. Two less than three is still true. Then T is equal to T next. I value is three. Three less than three is false. Stop. So I have to insert at the fourth position. So I have to stop at the third position only. So this way I can find out the before node if the question is based on the position. Okay. This finding the before node process is same for insertion and deletion. Finding the before node process will be same. Right. This is just traversal. We are learning only traversal based on position. So we have found the correct node after which I have to insert our new node based on the position. Now, if the question is insert before a given data key, insert before a given data key. Data key means there is a Value given. Insert before forty. Insert before thirty. What is forty or thirty? I remember for me. Or marks, or name, anything. It can be any any data key that is given. Based on that data key, I have to search now. Okay. So if I if the value key value is forty, and we are going to check the ID number as the key. Right. So ID is our key. Then I have to find out before node of forty. Before before forty only I have to insert. Means what is before node of forty? Thirty. I have to stop at thirty only because after thirty I have to insert so that it comes before forty. Okay. So here I need to find out before node or stop before forty. ID number forty. So in order to do that, I have to start the traversal from head pointer. Then I have to check if I have to stop here or move next, because I have to stop at the before node only. Before moving only, I need to check if I am at the correct position or I have I have to move next, right? So before checking, how can I check? Before moving, how can I check if the next node is? Given key or not? I have the value for the next node, but I have to stop at the current node only. Okay, so from the current node, I need to check the data of the next node. Got it or not? If T is at the head position, I have to check if I have to insert before twenty or not. If it is inserted before twenty, then I have to stop. But it is inserted before forty, so I need to check if this twenty is equal to forty or not. Right. But from where I have to do it? From here only I have to do. I should not move here. Okay. So while T is pointing to the first node, I need to check the second node data. How do you check that? T next is second node. T next ID is second node ID. Got it? T next ID is second node ID. Or you can simply take another pointer and Take t next into that pointer. Okay, so we we already have t as a pointer, 
I can have one more. Yes. Which says T next. Okay. I am taking two pointers. One pointer is current. Another point is next. But this is my target. T is my target. Where I have to stop? Wherever T is pointing. There only I have to stop. So why? Yes, ID is not equal to the given key. While that T next ID is not equal to key. I have to keep on moving. Okay, before that I need to also check S is not the last node. If the T is here, then T next is null. For null pointer, I should not apply ID. If S is pointer, null pointer, null pointer, I should not indirect, no? Then it will go to centimeter. So I should also verify that S is not null. That should be first. Because if S is not null, then only I have to apply the indirection operator. End operator works from left to right, no? Okay. So if S ID is not equal to key, then keep on moving. T is equal to T next. Then S also must move. S is equal to S next. This will go on till S of ID is not equal to key. Whenever it is equal to key, the traversal will stop. Okay. So here what we are doing. T is here. S is here. T is equal to H. S is equal to T next. Where I have to stop here. T should stop at 30 because my T is 40. Right. So here what I am doing. S is not null. S ID is not equal to the key. So move T to the next. S also move next. Again. S is not null. S ID is not equal to key. Again the condition is true. Not equal to key. Again move T next. S also move next. Again. S not null. S ID is equal to key this time. The condition is false. False means stop. And where is T stopping? T stopping before the 40 key. So this is what we wanted. Before node. Finding the before node. Okay. So finding the before node based on position. Finding the before node based on a given key. Right. Next. Insert after a given data key. The question may also come as, I have simply generalized the questions. It may be based on position or after a given value or before a given value. Any situation you can convert into these three. Right? Inside after this time. Insert after a given key. Suppose the question is insert after 40 or after 30. Here you have to find out the node after which you have to insert the node because here after the key is your before node. If I say after 30, 30 is the before node. You have to stop at 30 only because after 30 only you have to insert. Right? So you have to stop it. Stop at the given key. Whatever is the key, you have to identify that key. Stop at that node directly. So here you don't have to do next value identity. Here you have to find out T identity only directly. So T is going to start from H. Some key value is given to you. The key map may be any kind of key. So you need to stop at the given key. If I, if I say insert after 30 or after 40, you need to stop at the 
for which value is 30 whose value is 30 okay then by you have to check t id not equal to k keep on moving t is equal to t next so t is going to start at head hello i will watch your parents but it's students okay. t is head node then verify t id is key it's not equal to the key key is suppose 40 key is 30 let's take 30 as the example okay so t id is not equal to 30 so move next not equal to 30 move next equal to 30 stop so we have stopped at the before node suppose it is 40 stop at 40 you have to insert after 40 it will work the same process will work here also because after 40 also the same steps after the last node also same steps will work okay so here we have found the before node in all three questions so second step is done clear now the question of creation of a linked list may come in any way but you need to identify which condition will suit you have to find out the before node but in what way depending on the question you have to identify whether you have to find out the before node based on after or before or position conditions okay mostly it will be based on position or data only when data is given it will be before or after case only okay you you these are generalized cases depending on the question you have to convert into one of these cases and then do one of these things but the uh, all all in all when you have to insert you have to find out the before node that's it okay now the third step when you have the before node in your hand how to insert okay suppose this is your before node and this is your no node and this is the node which is already in the position where i have to insert this okay so this t is already pointing to this next node this is my new node which is pointing to null next node is pointing to null suppose this is 2 this is 4 and this is 3 i have to insert 3 before 4 or insert 3 after 2 or insert 3 at position 3 where already 4 is there uh, any question but this is the before node that i have found its address into t now i need to insert 3 in this position if i have to insert 3 in this position the first thing that i have to do is for 3 i need to make the next link its next next member is already null i have to make that its next node is now 4 i have to do that linking first always make this next linking okay never do this linking first because if you do this you are going to lose this remaining part of the list or you have to preserve this address somewhere then only you have to do never disconnect the links without saving the addresses okay so here first this address i already have this is my new node this new node address i have this new node next member i can hold this address so the step for insertion only two steps i said no if you have the before node address if you have the new node already ready then only two steps are required the new next member i am going to keep t next member because t next member is this node address right i already have t in my hand t next member is already this address so this address i have to copy to this right so t next i am going to copy into n next so whatever is t's next node that address i have to copy into n's next node so that this link is formed this link is already there the same address of this node is copied here as well as here at two places same address is there currently. Means both nodes are pointing to 4 only. Right? This is the first step. 
Next step. Now make two remember three as the next node. Means T next is equal to N. So this linking will form now. So T next is equal to mu. These two steps will be able to insert. Okay. Suppose if it is the last node, T is the last node, and you are supposed to insert here. Last node means already it is null. This is the new node. If T is last node, then also these two steps will work. T next. Is this number? Sorry, n next is this number is equal to t next. T next is already null. Null copy to null. No problem, right? Then t next is equal to n. T next is is equal to n. Now insertion at the last node also comes under the same steps. Okay. In position, you can send as the argument. I'm going to do it based on position. Okay, insert at the third position, and then again traverse so that I can see the result. Okay, the head node will remain the same. I am not modifying the head node, so same head node I can give to traversal after insertion, so that I can see if the node is properly inserted or not. I am first inserting into this node at some position. The position is three. I am taking third position as the example, and then I am traversing the linked list and printing the entire linked list. So insert function I am going to write. As of now, it is void function. I need to take the head as the input, and then one position as the input argument. The first thing I have to do is create the new node. Okay, so here the steps may be not exactly create new node and then find before node. You may first find the before node and then create the new node because. There may not be the correct before node available. Sometimes there may be error conditions, right? Like position, I I have given hundred position. Linked list has only four nodes. Hundred position in four node linked list is not possible, right? I say the insert before forty, but forty is not available. These are error conditions. When the such error condition is there, there is no point in creating the node first. So you may first find the before node and see if the given data is correct or not. If the data is correct, then only create the node, then insert. You can change the order that way. If there is a possibility of error, then change. First find the before node. If the before node is available, insertion is possible. Then only create the node. Okay. This is only finding the before node. Fine. Then when should I consider that it is not error? When h value does not become null. When h is null means I am moving out of the linked list. The position is hundred. Position given is hundred, but the linked list has only four nodes. After four nodes, this h pointer will become null. If you keep on traversing, at some point the pointer will become null. 
then when it becomes small that means the position given position is not there in the linked list so linked list insertion is not possible so if you call it h there may be confusion that we are changing the head node we are not changing head node here it's just a temporary creation call by value even if you modify it it, it, it will not affect the main linked list okay so if h is, if the t value becomes null then insertion is not possible all that error handling you can do then next thing is create the new node create node function declaration then after creating the new node t is the four node for me n next is equal to t next and t next is equal to n these are the insertion steps that's all this is insert at a given position assuming that the position given is correct if the position given is wrong you have to find write the error here yeah, error message you have to insert okay enter id and the name yes first creation is over then now insertion i am going to insert a new node right position i think i have already given third position means i have to insert at this position 3c will go to fourth position okay now i will insert 5 and e after the traversal okay i have given r not e okay so 1a 2b now at third position 5r is there so insertion is successful clear this way you have to do the before and after insertions also okay now suppose the given position is one here we have assumed that it is not the insertion before the head we are assuming that insertion is at any position other than head this way this before node finding will work only in those cases but the position is one suppose i am supposed to insert at position one means i want to change the head node change the leader make a new leader or insert before head so in this question position is one or before the head key head value these two cases may have head insertion possibility after will not have because after anything head insertion won't happen head insertion means always before the head after something means there is no nothing before head that is why after insertion will not come for head insertion this question will not come okay so if you have to insert at head the position may be one or you may have to insert before the head node these two questions may have the head insertion possibility okay so when head is to be inserted when head value at, at head position if you have to insert something for this entire linked list uh, the head pointer value must change then only the newly inserted head will take effect as the new leader okay so till now whatever code i have written in that head pointer i am sending as the argument by call by value means the head pointer is not able to change in the function right so if i have to insert a new node here i have to change the head pointer in the main function itself then only for uh, all other functions the head pointer will take effect new head pointer will take effect okay so here whenever head insertion possibility is there you have to write a function such that the head pointer can also change and for that there are two ways change the head pointer and return the head new head pointer as the return value or 
take head pointer by call by reference. Two methods you have to take. Only one one value you have to change. So if you can return that one value by taking head pointer as the call by value, or take head pointer by call by reference. Any one method you have to go when insertion head pointer change possibility is there. Okay, just change it in function and don't return or don't make it call by reference. The main function will still keep on thinking that ten is the head. But we have inserted five already before head. Then this information we have to give back. If you are writing insertion in a different function, we must write everything in different functions only. Never write everything in main only. Okay. Now, if the position is one, if the question is based on position, then position value will be one. Or if you are counting starts from zero, then position value is zero. It depends on the counting. It's not array index, but it has to start from zero only. You may start the counting from one or zero. It depends on your code. Okay. So if the position is one, which belongs to head position, then the process is different. There is no before node search. You don't have to search because if the position is one, you already know that it is head position. Okay. Then if this you have to write. As a separate thing, if the position is one, else only you have to start the traversal. Finding the before node process insertion function will be only one function. Okay, In, inside one function only you have to do two two things. If the position is one, then do head insertion. If the position is more than one, then only start the traversal and find the before node. Both will be in one single thing. Okay. okay? So if the position is one, then what you have to do again create the node. New node creation will be same. Then position is one. This is the new node. New node next will be current head node. Okay, this is the new head means its next node will point to the current head node. New next will be current head node, and new node is our new head. Okay, then h is equal to n. If you are writing in your main function, then you have to do this. Otherwise, return n. Okay, here only you have to return return this pointer so that in main function I will assign this value to the head pointer. Okay, or you have to go for the call by reference method where the head the pointer. The given head pointer is taken by reference. Then you have to do this. Star h is equal to new. Call the reference. Okay. Any one method you have to do, and this I am leaving as assignment. In the same insert function of position and before, I have done insert by position. You have to write insert before as well as insert after. These three functions you have to write. Okay, while writing these three functions, position insertion you have to handle the head insertion for position value one by returning the head. Before insertion you have to do by call by reference. Head pointer you have to take as call by reference means you have to use double pointer there. Okay, I am not going to write everything. On board, you have to do it. These two are your assignments, okay? And in this, you have to take care of one thing. Whenever you are returning the head pointer, head modification, okay, call by reference. But when you are returning the head pointer, and you are assigning the insert function to the head pointer in your main function, this you have to. Do. Insert function return value you must assign to head pointer. When you are doing this, when there is a change in the head pointer, the new head pointer will come back. But when there is no change, then also you are assigning no. Means when there is no change, also you have to return the head pointer. Then only assignment will work. Means you have to return in if if case as well as in else case. In else case, head pointer change won't be there. Still, you have to return the current head pointer. Then only this assignment will work. Correct or not? Whenever something you have to return from a function, 
in if case you have to return something in else case also in all possible cases you must return something explicit values you have to return you should not leave something to default returns you must write return statement in every case in if else conditions okay here also that that is applicable if, in if case means if the position is one you are returning the new head if the position is not one you still have to return the old head pointer okay then only that assignment will work properly this this thing one you you have to take care in call by reference method anyway you will change only when it is changeable otherwise you won't change no problem it will still point to the current head point only is this clear everyone you will be able to do head insertions okay so your assignment will be you have to write all three insertion methods as separate functions and in these three you have to do error handling also and in these two you have to do head insertions also one using return method one using call by reference method clear these are your assignments three functions okay and i will suggest the function the program whatever program i have written same program you must have done for creation already right So you have to write it as a menu-driven function. First, to create the linked list, then start giving the options. Insert at a position or insert before, insert after. Take the data accordingly. Do these insertions. Then we can see the complete program after till reverse. We'll do all options and we'll run the entire program again and again and see if this works in fine or not. Okay? It should be a menu-driven function like your calculator program. in a loop till the user says no you have to keep on asking for the options so this is insertion